Good morning, it is Sunday the 16th of April and time to sit down for another catch up with me, Debbie from Debbie's World, on my weight loss journey. Good morning everyone, it is 20 past 11, it's quite a nice bright day. I wouldn't say it's warm and sunny but it's more spring like than we've perhaps had in the past couple of weeks. Had a bit of rain haven't we? Anyway, yesterday we went to Sheffield to see my dad. We tried to go to Graves Park but there, a lot of the roads were closed because there was a football match. Every time we go to Sheffield I always forget to check whether there's football matches on and we have had to change our plans more than once. Anyway, my dad's doing well and we found a park in Doncaster where we could do a bit of a walk and it was a nice day. Um, today we're having more of a chill out, chill out day. Uh, we might go for a walk later or I might just send Andrew on his own with Charlie. Anyway, um, time to get to the interesting stuff if you're here for my weigh-in. So I went to group on the 11th of April, um, which as I say is just, what, what did we say, seven years after joining in 2016? Yeah. Yeah, about, it, it, it was around my Slimming World anniversary and I weighed in at 12 stone, 12 pounds, which was a loss of half a pound and meant that I have lost four stone exactly since I rejoined in January 2022 and as I said last week that brings my total total weight loss to 13 stone nine and a half I believe or somewhere around that. Um, so I've got a couple of um, things to aim for which I'll talk about later but first let us celebrate getting finally the Four Stone Award. Just about dragged it over the line there uh, with the half a pound, but every little half a pound counts and I am truly pleased with that. Um, now, I'm not going to lie, it's taken quite a long time. Well, let me just show you. I've put my sticker on my old book with my others. I'm not going to lie and say that I'm perfect. You know, I'm not the perfect example. You could do better, you could eat better, you could exercise more, you could do this, that, and perhaps was a bit faster. But I'm trying to just do it in a way where um, I feel like I could um, sustain it for longer than I managed to the first time around. So I got my Three Stone Award on the... 27th of September and I got my three and a half stone award on the 24th of January. So I've lost half a stone since 24th of January so that's three months which is January, February, March, April. Yeah almost three months which is I could probably have done like a lot more if I'd been back in the day but we are a bit near a target now and like I say, I'm enjoying the journey, just trying to enjoy what I'm eating, trying to keep up with the exercise. And I, I think I'm feeling and looking good. Um, so my goals, um, I'm in the 12 stone bracket at 12 stone 12. My target is currently set at 12 stone, which is a little higher than I had it set before. Um, and I've got a couple of uh, goals to aim for. Now, obviously, my four stone award would be sorry my four and a half stone award would be 12 stone five and my total weight loss for 14 stone would be 12 stone seven so i'm sort of trying to aim for those couple of things and then i've got the big target of 12 stone or just under um hopefully to hit it at some point this year um that's what i would like to do i'm not going to set any um you know sooner goals than that i would just i would like to uh, get to the 12 stone or just under um sometime this year um i 
not sure there's going to be a vlog next week while I remember. I have an away day with my um, team at work. Uh, I think I've mentioned this before. Um, I'm a remote worker and we have remote workers all over the country. Uh, Ireland, Scotland, London and we are going to meet up in Manchester. We are going to meet up on the Friday, stay over and come home on the Saturday and there's going to be meals and drinks involved. So whether I'll hold on to that four stone award is a question. Um, I want to enjoy myself, I don't want to go too mad but as I say I haven't met these people in real life so it will be nice just to relax with them and enjoy a sort of day out and um, get to know them better. Uh, so I have recorded a full body clip of my progress and if you want to see a comparison I will link my first January video below in the uh, description box so that you can see the difference between January 2022 and now and Mr Fawcett have you got any thoughts on how I'm doing? I think you're doing very very well. Good. You can tell the difference. Ted can tell the difference. Oh you can it's amazing. Are you going to go and make your dinner? Why do you want me out of way? I'm just asking you if you're going to go and make a lot of noise in the background well, of the video. Well I can cause a lot of trouble you see. Yes. Let's have a quick look at what I've been eating this week and then I'll put the clip in and then we'll do nice or nasty. So this was on Saturday yesterday when we went to see my dad. I made chocolate baked oats, a packet of couscous with an Iceland chicken skewer and some salad. And then I had a maggie mixed herb chicken with cheese, jacket potato and cheese and veg. Aldi lentil chips and a skinny whip or a whip bar. That was yesterday. 10,000 steps yesterday. 10,000 steps on Friday. And you can see that's the couscous I made. The roasted vegetable couscous, which is one and a half sins for the whole pack. A Asda reduced fat burger, which is three and a half sins with salad and chips. There's my couscous with Iceland chicken skewer salad. Um, microwave wheat bran mug cake. So the wheat bran from Holland and Barrett made into a mug cake and a groovy biscuit from Aldi. That was Friday. Thursday was another 10,000 steps again and it was overnight um, fruité wheats, you know, you know those little shredded wheat bites, and then a veggie sausage and cheese egg wrap, um, bacon and pea risotto with salad and cheese and cheese puffs and time out. Then Wednesday, twelve thousand steps on Wednesday, was microwave baked oats. Um, curry loaf with a bit of mango chutney that was really nice because I had the mango chutney from that curry recipe that I made and then um, chicken casserole with veg and roast potatoes and a twirl bar every night I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy um, well nearly every night when I've had the spare time and I'm clocking up like 60 hours now so it's <laughs> It's really keeping me entertained. Then Easter Monday we went to Filey, had a really nice day and we just got back in the car about half past one when the heavens opened. Um, 12,000 steps on Easter Monday and I had a sweet omelette with yoghurt and berries, a tuna and beetroot sandwich with salad while Andrew sat there eating fish and chips and beef casserole with sweet potato and veg and a crunchy. Loving my peppermint teas at the moment as well. I should have made one really. I'm going to have my dinner soon. Then Easter Sunday was a bit of a treat. Um, there's the Maggie mixed herbs because that was the day that I made the chicken. I usually make it up with like four or five chicken breasts and then put the chicken breasts in the freezer. But Easter 
Sunday, I had a veggie sausage sandwich, the curried cauliflower soup, I think I told you about that last week. Then we had a roast dinner. Um, so we had roast chicken, roast potato, Sweden carrot mash and Savoy cabbage. And then just as a little treat, we had one of those little um, steam puddings that come in plastic. You know, you just put them in the microwave for like a minute. And it was a jam, jam pudding with custard. And then in the evening, I managed to just snack on grapes, carrot and cucumber while I was playing my game. So yeah, I think I did well to do, to um, to come away with half a pound because I think I think the week before as well I'd had some like um, bad bad eating days. I think the Wednesday after weigh in last week, and then on the Sunday I had the uh, strawberry jam pudding. So I think actually looking at it, I think I've done well to come away with that half a pound pulled it back a little so let's hope that I can get a little bit lower this week I will insert that footage full length now and we'll come back with nice or nasty right here we are then we are on the 16th of April 2023 and I have got to my four stone award I rejoined Slimming World on the first uh, in January 2022 it's taken quite a while to, to get back here but I'm now 12 stone 12 and this is how I'm looking at the moment. I've got my usual size 12 Morrison's stripy top on and size 16 leggings from M and Co I believe um, before they went into administration. But yeah, so this is what I'm looking like at the moment. Hopefully there's um, some difference, a side view there. I think that most of my weight has come off my face and top half down to here and I still carry a lot of weight around my stomach here and on my thighs but we're getting there and I already, I already feel healthier and happier. Now Charlie is next to me but he won't come on the camera, that's my dog. Here we are with Bertie Box Every Flavour Beans for will I get a nice or nasty one? Mm. A pinky one. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You can tell it's a nice one, it's candy floss. So thank you so much for watching. There will be comparison photos pasted on Facebook and Instagram shortly at some point today. Uh, I hope you've all, you all had a great Easter and I hope you're now looking forward to spring. Uh, maybe getting out there in the sunshine and getting a few steps in. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.